What's good with YouTube? It's your boy DC, and I'm back with another reaction video. You know what I'm saying? Now, today we're gonna be reacting to that J. Hughes speak on drug abuse, flint hate, and skin bone backdooring him for views part three. Now, I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm being nosy right now. Backdoor, skin bone? Man, bro, I just got to feel me. See what he talking about on here, dog. I ain't even know, bro, like we're still doing interviews and all that. That's what's crazy, bro. If you're new to the channel, leave a like on the channel, subscribe to the channel, share the channel with your mom, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your granny, everybody in the whole wide world, man. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, okay. So I, I got a question from our last. I'm gonna sit back down. Yeah, so I got a question from um our last interview from the comments. Yeah. Okay. And just a lot of curiosity from the streets. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like yeah. besides drinking and smoking weed, what other drugs do Dre Hughes do? I don't do shit, bitch. <laughs> and that's to all the motherfuckers in the back, not even to you. I don't do shit but smoke weed and I love my liquor. I like to go to Mexico. I like to eat. <laughs> okay. I don't do other drugs. I don't pop pills. I don't, I don't do it. coke, as y'all like to say. I don't do that bullshit. I don't do none of that. All right, cool. So, like, the only thing that was going on that night was liver shrooms. shrooms. Yeah, she fed it to me. I was just like, fuck it. First time. <laughs> First time. Are huh? oh, you looking for that bridge? Now, that's how I be, though, bro. <laughs> for your, for the vape hitters, bro. For my, where is that? <laughs> It's K. That's K. Alright. We was drunk as hell up back Jose Cuevo. We had what two pints? She probably had more because she was drunk coming to. Alright, so like with that with that whole situation happening like that, um, it hit the internet, right? Yeah. And the thing about it, the only reason why that video hit the internet is because some weird motherfucker recorded my Snapchat. They recorded my Snapchat and they posted it on Facebook. It shouldn't matter though, like you feel me, like whether somebody you know people watch you though, bro. Like so, it's like it, it shouldn't matter if somebody recorded your Snapchat or not. You knew that was gonna be bound to happen, bro. But I'm gonna let them, you feel me, finish saying what you got. So whoever posted that video of my Snapchat, you exploited this twelve-year-old little girl and you wrote this hill. And I'm gonna tell you. But they wouldn't. They would have never been able. You feel me to do that, bro? If you would have never posted it at all. So if they did that, that means you exploited her first. You gotta think about your actions, bro. You all about it. You wrong, cause everybody doesn't have my Snapchat. They have my Snapchat after you posted it. So <laughs> look, but you speaking, you speaking to yourself. You feel me? Everything you saying to that person that showed it off. You feel me? Wanted to show attention to the world to what the fuck was going on. You feel me? You gave them access to that because you posted it. You feel me? The thing about it is. I'm viral on Facebook. Where I went viral at, I went on Facebook, on Facebook Live. Facebook, then Instagram, then TikTok. But, again, whoever it is, you're wrong. And you, you need to be accountable, held accountable. Because you're weird. And then y'all made, made it seem like I tried to rape the little girl. Then y'all tried to say I had tried to have a threesome with the mama and the daughter. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? I got a daughter. I got two sons. Really, I got four sons and one daughter. The reason why I started off with two because I, I have three biological kids, but my two stepsons just. Dog, that nigga blunt, though. Like, that, that's funny. But say, he just had to add that in there, though. That nigga told me. If it ain't mine, it ain't mine, huh? That would be okay. This is well, it's my kids because I'm the one raising so I have four sons and one daughter. You think I'm I'm gonna be on some weird shit like that? And if you think I'm on some weird shit like that, you don't know me at all, bitch ass nigga. Oh, bitch eyes nigga, cheap eyes nigga, lame eyes nigga. Like for real, y'all weird as hell. And only the real know. And real gonna recognize real. And everything that is known don't gotta be explained. But this is one of the things that has to be explained. 
I gotta explain this because y'all tried to tear my whole career down. Y'all tried to cancel me. I seen cancel Dre Hughes across the board. Did you see the post when the dude was like he was praying on you to um on your downfall? Praying on my downfall. I seen that. How did you how did you feel when you seen all the hate coming from Flint? Your because home? I already knew it. I just wanted them to finally tell me the real. They mad because I got slapped by my baby mama and went viral. And not only went viral, I was around motherfuckers that I was fans of, but I became one of them. I am a content creator. I was with skin bone, all type of shit, different rappers, singers, all type of shit. And they just wish they had that platform or had that opportunity to do what they did. It's some rappers that's still here in Flint that's probably not going to go no fucking where, but Dre Hughes still went everywhere. Is it city? Uh, I'm known shot. in Nigeria, the United Kingdom. We can go overseas with my content. Mm. Mm. That's deep. That's shit deep. So let's let's get into like Skinbone reaction to the video where he um talked to his manager. Fuck Skinbone. Oh. Oh my bad. What did bro do? <laughs> hey, he felt that. That nigga said that with some enthusiasm. Um, talk to his manager. Fuck Skinbone. <laughs> oh, my man. Continue. I mean, yeah, so he said he talked to his management, you know what I'm saying? And Fuck his he just, He decided to cancel the 20 versus 1. Right. And then he said that he been trying to help you for a week. For he years. even had the nerve to say that he managed me. You never managed me. And when did you help me? When did you help me, sir? I wanna know. I mean, I mean, he was already viral. I mean, it's free clout. I don't know. You never helped me. All you did was get clout off of me. I got multiple different interviews with you. I got multiple different okay. skits. And when did you send me that YouTube money? Uh, when did you actually send me the footage? Okay, so he ain't break him off. I can see what, where you're mad at on that point, but he was still doing no clout. But he still could have broke him off, right? So I could post it on my YouTube, on my Facebook, so I could get my money, even if you wasn't going to give me none of yours that we did together. Right. You never helped me. So in the canceling, because uh, he seen that video with the little girl, he decided to cancel the, the 20 versus 1. I mean, you can't, I, be, you can't, I had you can't be mad about that, though. Like, you feel me? He's got an audience. Like, you feel me? Like... After everybody done seen that, bro, they gonna be like, bro, why you got them on her? The money back that he gave me. Also, oh, he paid I had on for that. back to school event. I had a back to school event where the city of Flint uh, funded me, uh, Mona Lisa Healthcare, and some other nice lady that was gonna be making cookies and cakes for the event. Oh yeah, so how, how do you feel about even my own city said fuck me. That's why I ran the Saginaw. That's why I'm a Saginaw nigga. 989 to the death. <laughs> fuck a <laughs> Well, bro, you can't just do that, though. I guess, I guess, I guess. That would be funny, bro. I'm telling all I'm a Saginaw nigga. <laughs> yeah. So, so even, with, even with the people that was partaking in the event, like, do you feel like you owe them an apology or fuck everybody. I don't owe nobody but that little girl an apology. Uh, That's why I said what I said. Nobody deserves an apology because they all grown and they know what they were doing. Some people were trying to get clout. Some people were trying to make money off of me. All type of shit. Somebody went live about me for like six hours trying to talk about how much of a dog I was, but I had the nerve to try to talk to my mama in the comments. You bitch ass nigga. I didn't want to say loud beat or some shit. Fuck me. Fuck you, bitch ass. Nigga, I don't even know if that's real. See, I tell you, that nigga, that nigga name dropping all that in the, in the interview, though, like. But you a bitch ass nigga. Why the fuck are you talking about me? You're, why are you on my dick like this? For six hours, you got a hotline. He got people calling in from Chicago, Utah, Texas, all type of shit. Mm. And they all talk about, oh, people from Chicago are like, oh, yeah, you can't come to Chicago. Woo, woo. Cause you know, I, I, that's like my second home. I love going to Chicago. Look, so I gotta charge my tether. Hold on. Gotta charge my tether. Yeah, I'm All right, y'all see the little lights? See how I light up? I don't know if you just show them the lights. But okay. That's but, yeah. but yeah. 
But yeah, either, either way it go, it doesn't neither here nor there. Fuck everybody. I don't got no friends. So with the um twenty versus one, yeah. obviously like we had our twenty versus one, which that mug was promoted well all across Michigan. That mug was doing numbers yeah, even was. in other states. Still is. But when skin bone like picked it up and said he was gonna do twenty versus one with you, you know what I'm saying? And he was that, trying to backdoor you. My bad. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. He was trying to backdoor you. He was trying to backdoor you. I ain't gonna lie, he cause he know he has a platform. Like a big platform. He was trying to backdoor you. What do you mean, though? Trying to backdoor you. He was trying to backdoor you. I ain't gonna lie. He, Cause he know he has a platform. Like a big platform. Mm -hmm. So, he seen the shit that we was doing and trying to piggyback off of that. And basically just steal the followers, steal the views. You can't get no views off of me no more, skin bone. And I ain't even gonna say fuck Chicago because I love Chicago, but. You probably. I don't know, bro. Like, you feel me? The shit ain't enough to be like, you feel me? Be doing all this shit, you feel me? Like, then they paid you for the 20v1, but you fucked that opportunity up, bro. Like, you feel me? Sometimes in life, we all gotta take accountability to, from what the fuck we got going on. You was just up. You feel me? What you want doing right, bro? Gotta give it to you and take it all just like that. You say you trying to break down. What? Still the views? Like, alright, like I said, you went viable, bro. But that ain't a platform way bigger than yours. And I ain't even saying that that matters, though, but. Like. You, you could have said he used you, you feel me? For the clout, when the clout was, you feel me, still there. Fuck the Chicago comedians. Oh. Uncle Hank, low down. But then at the end of the day, we still never know what he went through down there. It's probably some shit that happened down there that he don't want to talk about or he can't talk about or not going to talk about. Like I said, when you fucking with heights like that, it's contracts and all that you got to sign. So it's like... But obviously it won no contract. He he on her snapping like this. But that nigga sending shots at everybody, bro. Everybody. Skinbone, I don't like y'all. Y'all some bitch ass niggas in my Damn. eyes. Oh So explain your beef with the other two comedians. Alright, yeah, yeah. Because okay, Uncle Hank, you did interviews with me. And was asking a whole bunch of questions about my baby mama. So I knew you was intrigued. And you probably wanted to know why this little nigga was tripping so bad. So you had to go see how the pussy is. Oh. I actually want to ask you a question. How, how good was that pussy? Oh my God. Do that count as, that count as to give me all my seat, bro. And this is not even the song. Damn, Hank. Low down, for real. No, low down, the big nigga. Who the... Uncle Hank. With the cigarette. Hit his baby mama. Baby mama told me out of her mouth that she fucked. Skin bone, we had an interview that I thought you fucked my baby mama, and it's not even a thought because you probably did. You just was, you want to tell the world that you didn't. Bro, you can't. At the end of the day, bro, you can be like, all right, I thought these niggas was cool. I thought they was my friends, bro. You ain't know them for this amount of time. You ain't know them for that long, bro. And they from a whole different fucking state. Be mad at your baby mama. You still fucking with her. You feel me? Like, so it's like, come on now. Like, yeah, I have a problem with them niggas. Fuck them niggas. But I want to do all this, bro. Like, you feel me? It happened, nigga. Your baby mama gonna get hit, bro. Like, it's a different story while you're all together, but it's like, come on now. You gotta start, t man, taking that up with Shorty, bro. She making you look bad like that. So, yeah, I, 
On that, on that part, bro, you just gotta chunk that one up. Yo, and then Jermaine, I wouldn't be surprised if you did tag along too. You gotta think about <laughs> it. They're known for backdoor shit in Chicago. So I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't get a piece of that pussy, uh, Jermaine. Uncle Hank, I know you was probably the first one to get some. And you gotta think about Skimbo, you the one that flew her out. You the oh. one that paid her. Mm. So why wouldn't he get some pussy too? But also, let's talk about Skimbo. You paid to be in my baby mama's private story. I'm oh. still in her private story right now on Snapchat. What? <laughs> that boy telling it all. And we don't see none of that. What? So you keep tags on that pussy that you already probably had. But you want to tell the world that, oh yeah, Trey Hughes is my man. So I'm cool with him. Why would I fuck his baby mama? Mm. No, it goddamn well. You probably already did. <laughs> that shit crazy. The hot seat for real. That just got real, real crazy at the end, bro. And this part three is of the part. If y'all want to see me react to them, y'all already know what to do. Leave a like on the channel, subscribe to the channel, and share the channel with your mommy, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your granny, everybody in the whole wide world, man. This was crazy. I ain't gonna lie. This got crazy, bro. What? DC out. Peace.